Hello, welcome. I'm not trying thongs right this second, but I've got them here. That's coming up next. <laughs> I'm actually here because I send newsletter, let's call it like that. So there is an email list that you can join, by the way, if you want. I'm going to put the link below. I'm sending emails more or less regularly. I receive replies and I read them. Not all of them. Sometimes it's not possible, all of them. But I just, you know, skim through and have a look. So yes, I read your replies. I have one from what appears to be someone's wife. I don't know how real this is because, you know, on the internet we all hide behind names or whatever. But this comes from someone called Laura. There's an email there that I'm not going to disclose, of course. But I'm going to put somewhere here when I edit the video so you can see what it says. I want to reply to Laura because no, Laura, I don't think that's right. Of course it's not. Thing is, what are you doing with that man? That's the question. You need to ask yourself those questions. I am doing my job and my job is entertain men Actually, I might just have come up with my life career. I entertain men. Many of these men are single, divorced, widows, you know. And many of them, maybe, are in relationships as well. But it's not up to me to look into those <laughs> relationships and fix them. Why that happens is something you, as a wife or them as a man who is in a relationship, in a committed relationship, and looking at the girls online, or women online, need to ask themselves. Do you get my point? I'm not trying to be nasty here. In fact, today is Valentine's Day. And uh, if you know me, you know I'm kind of a scrooge with these things, absolutely. And everything else that is someone else from who knows where with interest telling me to do so or eat that or buy flowers or chocolates or this give it you this day special day super day mom's day that's day this is pancakes day this is everything day whatever the tree of life a day i don't buy that but when i go to the shop and i see all those displays of cards roses hearts everywhere everything is heart shaped now in february for valentine's day and i see a lot of men with carrying flowers they're dressed in their work clothes all dirty others with the suit with the office dressed all these men are buying flowers for someone else which is great but why don't you do that any other day why do you do that on the 14th of february i mean maybe it's, i'm too rebel for this but only because it's something expected from you to do I, don't, I wouldn't do it <laughs> you know I would rather do it on the 20th of February 1st of February 15th of March why not but that's me and we're not talking about me here so my point is I see those men buying flowers and I really wish them the best and you know I hope that they are in happy fulfilled relationships and they are all loving and caring and kind and everything is flowing for them in their relationships and obviously for their wives as well i wish that for everyone but we know that that's not the case and we know that many of these men buying flowers are just doing that because they have to you know oh what if they don't and they get home on the 14th of February with not, without those flowers? What's going to happen? That's not healthy. I hope you reflect about that a little bit. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Don't do it. And explain why. Communicate and explain why. Not just, you know, turn up home without those flowers or those chocolates because you think that that is nonsense and, you know, and don't want to do that anymore. And then... Expect the other person to know what you've decided, you know, or why you are not doing it. Or maybe depending on the emotional state of your partner, you might be causing troubles there. So just communicate to her and say, I'm not doing this today, not because I don't love you, 
because I don't agree with it. I don't, it doesn't make me feel good. So, you know, I'll make it up. We'll do something special next week, for example, whenever, and then surprise her another day. I just thought that'd be helpful. So, Laura, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. I'm so sorry that you're having to email this random woman who is just creating content online for others to enjoy, which is not a crime. It's a job and it's affecting you. But bear in mind that what happens in your life is your responsibility and not mine. There's something called choice and the power of choice is massively important and we don't realize that. So if your husband is choosing consume content that is, you know, not of your liking, if he chooses to spend money in something that, you know, is really, I mean, I agree, not right to do with someone else's money anyway, then you just need to bring that up to your relationship and talk about it. I'm not going to give you a solution because it's not none of my business what happens in your relationship. You will have a, an amazing, what is today? Wednesday. 